So, I'm going to show you how to do a Guardian Sensor 3 insert. And I'm going to do it into the back of my arm. Uh, my last two were in my right arm. So, what you need is your sensor, your transmitter, uh, mine's charging, it should be done here shortly. The insert device, you'll need your oval tapes and some alcohol swabs. Um, I also use SkinTac. Uh, this comes in a bottle. I like using the bottle just because it lasts longer. Um, it also comes in the wipes. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these here. And I think I want to do it about right there. So I'm just going to clean the area really good. And it should be good. I'll wait for that to dry. And then what you'll need is here, I'll take the sensor out here. And this plastic part is just the pedestal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you're going to line this up, okay? So that's gonna go in there like that. And usually what you wanna do is you'll have this on a flat surface. Um, you can use the bathroom counter, but because I'm recording, I'm just gonna do it on my hand. So you're gonna push it down until it locks. Um, you want to use here, you do not want to press the green buttons on the side, okay? So, once that's locked in there, you're going to have these two tabs. Now, when this is setting down on a flat surface, you're going to hold this. There's a little thumbprint, so you'll hold this, and you'll hold these two little tabs, and you'll pull this down, okay? So, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to pull it up. Okay, so it just comes out like that. You'll see the sensor there. And a lot of people will just insert it like this. That's fine. Um, but there is, I'll try to get this in the video. I have big hands. So there is this part. Um, usually, you'll when you put it on your arm, then you'll peel this. Since I'm doing it on the back of my arm, um, it's a lot easier if I just peel this off right now. Okay, just like that. And I'm just going to make sure that that's flat down in there. I'm not going to use my finger to push that down because I don't want it to get stuck. But I do want this inside here as flat as possible. So if you can see, now I have that whole spot there. So it's flat, okay? Now, the orientation of how you want it, you have to pay attention to. There is a little arrow, if you can see on right there, that is showing, it's on both sides, that's showing where the needle is gonna go into your arm or your stomach or wherever you put your sensor. So I like mine to face upwards. So, in other words, I like it to be here and then the little puck to be up top. It's just easier for me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I kind of want to put come into the mirror some so I can kind of see. And that should be about good. So, I'm just going to hold the top. I'm going to hold the two buttons here on the side. Press, so make sure you get a good spot and one, two, three. So you just hold it there for oh, like 10 seconds. Make sure you press, make sure it pushes down. And then what you want to do is you want to pull straight out. Okay. So now that's in there. So this plastic part here, that is where the needle is. So once you pull that out, the needle is going to shoot up inside there by itself. You'll never see, you don't see the needle. But what you want to do, it's kind of hard to see. What you want to do is you want to hold on to the sides, 
okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on to the sides as I pull this needle up. It can be a little tricky if you don't have somebody to help you. Maybe you can get it like that a little better. So, I'm gonna hold on to the sides and just pull the needle out just like that, okay? So, the sensor is in there. I'm gonna push it around, just make sure it's stuck good. It's better if you if you have somebody that can help you, um, especially if you're doing it in the back of your arm, um, it is a lot easier. So, just like that, that little piece gets folded up. I'm gonna take one of my tapes here. So, you have your tape here. Now, how this tape goes is, See how the best way I can show this, it is a little hard to do by yourself. So you want the smaller part in here and the larger part is going to cover up some of the sensor. Now you want to be careful that that tape does not cover up where the transmitter clicks in. All right. So what I'm going to do so I'm gonna use some of my skin tack here. And hopefully you can see, I have to do it this way. It just makes it a little easier for me. I'm just gonna put some of that skin tack around there. All right, just like that. And you want to let this stuff dry for, you know, 20 seconds or so. Because if you try and stick the tape down um, while it's still wet, it's not going to stick as well. Okay. So, this can be a little tricky. So, you have one and two. So what you're going to do is you're going to take those off. You don't want these to stick together. All right. So you have it just like that. And as I said, the, the bigger part here is going to go over the sensor. The smaller part here is going to go over the, the white part here where the puck goes. So. What I'm gonna do is I kind of fold this in half um, like that. It just makes it a little easier. And let's see if I can, how I can get this in the camera view. So I'm just gonna kind of go over. And these are sticking together. Now you can see why it's better to have somebody help you with this. So I'm going to try and do it with my arm up. Here we go. So I'm trying to look in the mirror at the same time. And pull it down. Hopefully you guys can see that. Put it down on your skin. All right, and then you just kind of push it down. Just like so. All right, hopefully you guys can see that there. So just like that. So the bigger parts down here, smaller parts up there. And that skin tack helps quite a bit. Um, sometimes I will use the IV 3000. And so I'm gonna grab my transmitter here. All right, and then you'll see
see it, it will blink. So it just blink green. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it there. And you kind of want to, I know it's probably hard for you guys to see, I'll try to do this in the camera view. You want to kind of hold the end. Try and get this in camera view at the same time and make sure it's lined up here. Come on. And what you'll do is you'll kind of get it in there and then you hear it snap, okay? And then you'll see it blink here in just a sec. Here it goes. So it just flashed, so I know it's good. All right, and then you're gonna take this part here. Peel that off. And you don't wanna pull on this tab too hard but that tab just goes right over the transmitter just like so and sorry guys i'm in the mirror as well too just trying to make sure it's all stuck down good and then you're going to take your second piece of tape and that's my pump beeping so you're going to take your second piece of tape And I'm gonna put some skin tack. I'm just gonna put it down here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. And while I'm waiting for the skin tack to dry, I'll grab my pump. And let's see what it says here. It says sensor connected. New sensor, select start new sensor, select reconnect. So I'm gonna start new sensor. Sensor warm up. Warm up takes around two hours. And press okay. And then you can see on the pump there, it's a sensor warming up. Um, sometimes I have inserted the uh, sensor before and, um, you know, if you want to let it sit for a couple hours or the night before, the warm-up period is a little quicker. Um, but I just, mine was time to change. This was an extended one that I just took out of my right arm. And I had that one in there for 13 days. Second piece of tape. Um, I peeled off one and two. So, the bigger portion is going to go... The bigger portion is going to cover the sensor itself. And then the smaller portion. So let's see how I can show you guys this the best way. So let's see if you guys can see how this is. All right. So smaller portion, bigger portion. And let's see if I can get this lined up here. Line it up in the mirror here really quick a little bit. This can be a little tricky. Um, right there should be okay. All right. So you can see how the bigger portion is down here. Smaller portion is up there. And just kind of push it down. And I'm going to pull one of these tabs over, let it stick down, pull the other tab over, let it stick down, just kind of push the tape down, so I hope you guys can see this, alright, and push it down, and then the rest of the sticky little part, I'll just take an alcohol wipe and wipe it all there. So let me show you guys a little closer pic or a little closer video. So there it is there. And that's pretty much it guys. 
until you do a center in the back of your arm by yourself. Um, sorry if some of the spots you couldn't see. I was uh, going through my, my mirror, but yeah, it's on my left side. And then I have my set right here in my stomach. Um, that'll be changed out tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I hope this helps some of you new guys. Um, so that's how it is. And uh, no pain in the arm. Um, it's out of the way. Um, I wore my last four in my arm. I've done two in my right arm. And then this is uh, the second one in my left arm. And I find the best numbers are in my arms. And I don't have a problem when extending them either. I've gotten 13 days um, is the max I've gone in my arm so far. When I'm in my stomach, I only get about six days. So, uh, yeah, no pain. The back of the arm is great. Uh, great numbers. Um, I never really see more than 20 to 30 off. So uh, I hope this helps you guys. And uh, maybe if I have any other uh, tips or anything, if I see some more stuff posted, I will uh, make another video. Take care, guys.